Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Saiken, we're playing Impossible Iron Man Hardcore, where we're playing the game on the highest difficulty with a single save and only one chance per uh, the entire uh, run to make a mistake. Uh, once you do that mistake, the entire run is over. Today we're going to have a mission called Finders Keepers for an epic pistol and delirium. And that's really it. Um, we have a new mixed up team, two encounters, which is um, an okay, uh, an okay length uh, for the uh, for the mission. We still got uh, Cheer Up and uh, Verge from our main team, waiting to be basically promoted to level five. And slow, slowly but surely, the newcomers are coming in. We've seen Torque uh, last mission already. And now it's time uh, for Claymore to shine. We gave him a couple of weapon modifications with his shotgun and his um, destructive abilities. He will hopefully wreak havoc and deal a lot of damage, because that's why we brought him in in the first place. So let's directly jump in and see how this team is going to fare. Informant tipped us off. Special weapon at this location. All right, time for the breach mode. Um, we got stun shots, stun shots harder to hit, and stun shots. Well, how about we're going in with uh, cheer up? And Verge, Torque, and Claymore. Claymore goes in last. And I think that's a pretty decent starter. Reaching in. Moving in. Oh, everyone's surprised. A python, um, python, a cobra, a paladin, a trooper, and a bruiser. You know what? Since everyone's surprised, uh, the stun doesn't really mean a lot because it only stuns uh, stuns them until the end or uh, until the beginning of uh, the actual fight. Nice one. Yeah. That's not bad either. Let's <laughs> seven points of damage. Holy shit! Shotguns are a force to be reckoned with. Good. First things first. We are giving ourselves a kinetic shield. One down. Should have given him the train shots, by the way. And that's two down. Everyone's gunning for Verge. I don't even know why. Your mind falls away. Good. So he's not going to annoy us anymore. Go on. Trooper is not going to do that either. Come on, hit your friend. Yeah, a lot of that will be regenerated right away. But we are regenerating as well. Okay, okay. I see what you're trying to do.
How about we're moving over here? Slithering. And let's pull the trooper over here. Thank you. Because he will not do anything in the future. Shrapnel Bomb, by the way, is his special ability. Uh, throws a bomb that de detonates after several turns. Um, you would see when it detonates right here. And it can be quite helpful uh, just to remove uh, to remove um, armor. Traversing. Moving over. Nice little hit for six points of damage. I like it. Good. That's uh, one more unconscious enemy. And we just get, got to deal with the uh, bruiser and then we're fine. Verge is still healing like a madman. As long as they attack him, I, I wouldn't see how we, how we can lose that. We need a lot of damage to just completely empty him. Finding a better spot. And that here should seal the deal. Good. Everyone's reloading. All non-aggressive uh, units are surprised. Last unit through this entrance will receive an extra point. Well... I don't think that that's, a bad, uh, that, that's so bad. Um, All right. Making a path. Move in now. Well, hello. Okay, got a trooper. Got another trooper and another trooper. Well, uh, that's an interesting selection of uh, people that you do have here. Good sir. The bomber will attack us. We're using Phalanx, so I don't need to deal with a Bomber. That's great. Trooper, 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 Bomber. Might as well just take the Trooper, to be honest. Let's take the one over here, because I don't want us to be flanked. Ooh, a cobra, look at you. Yeah. Oh, what? A dominator? All right, this could be a kill. Yep. No! Oh, wow. She survived with one hit point. Target spotted. Where's my extra action? Well, I feel I feel like they 
have mistreated us. Okay, so a couple of things. First things first. Tossing flashbang. Time for a little noise. Dominator shouldn't use his abilities. Yeah, I think we're taking it ourselves, to be Take honest. And it's not an elimination of an immediate threat, uh, but it's still the right uh, thing to do. Yeah, that will hit a civilian, unfortunately. We could now crack it immediately, or just let it sit there and marinate, which I think we're going to do. Holy shit, the Berserker. I gotta deal with that as well. Well, everyone's gunning for Birch. Nothing new. To location. Trooper is trying to move away. Oh, that was a nice hit. So first things first, we're healing ourselves, because we took some damage. Let's deal with the Berserk. Eh, not quite. This will kill the trooper. Let's kill the bomber if possible. Nice little crit would be good. Engaging target. Of course, instead of critting, he does not hit at all. Is anyone in the urgent need of healing? No, and Torque is still fine, I assume. Could deal with the Dominator here. You know what? Let's move to here and actually do something nasty. Oh, I thought we could pull... Wait, what? My bad, I thought we could uh, get the bomber. But we couldn't. That's a misplay from my end. I thought we actually could uh, bind uh, the bomber and that's why I went right next to him. It's not the end of the world. The Berserk now will probably hit Claymore. I 
Thanks to our armor, we take only limited uh, damage. And the cool part is, uh, once they are bound, the AI begins to ignore um, the Viper. Over and over I've seen that the AI simply doesn't do anything. Okay, so moving over here. Let's see if we can hit the trooper and actually take him out. Hit, yes, take him out. No, minimum damage, unfortunately. Good to go. Yeah, keep on hitting Verge, that's a good idea. Verge moves to here, and we're trying to control the bomber. My mind over yours. Yeah, almost. This regeneration is so busted. Where are we? All right, finally we're getting attacked. So what we could do, by the way, and this is the cool part about uh, Cheer Up, you never think that he's uh, really dealing damage, uh, but look at that, that's 15 points of damage. This is an immense amount. Uh, you know what? How about you guys eat this grenade and think about your life choices. Arrested the target. Time to down the berserk. <laughs> cool. Yeah, a bit of a different, a bit of a different uh, appeal. This group uh, plays definitely different early, but the new operators are not so weak that they are just unbearable. I think that's another good feature in this um, game. Overall, the um, the growth is still stiff, uh, so the leveling process, they are becoming better, but it's not like in XCOM 2, where you, they essentially start as complete and utter nobodies with no functionality whatsoever, and then they end up as these monster heroes. So it's somewhat further up, um, the ceiling is further up, and uh, no, uh, the ceiling is the same, but the bottom is further up. Got a weapon, got intel, and got uh, Elarium. Grey Phoenix follows a pair of leaders, both mutons. Custodian Zell handles their technical interests. 
We know more about Crew Chief Yarvo, who directs their martial pursuits. Zell and Yarvo are unknown quantities. It isn't clear who caused the shots between them. Lovely. Two mutants. Dialect. Each of them must be an alias. How so? Zell translates roughly to good route or safe passage. And Yarvo? Either newly forged or birthed in flame. Like a freshly formed alloy. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Holy. Everyone got a promotion? Lands of adventure? Or just something for the little ones? Come on down to the Thought Bubble. We're located three blocks from the Good. in City... Let's take a look at the great abilities first. Okay, so Neural Network. Birch Mind controls all enemy in the Neural Network. The effect lasts for the remainder of the turn. I use once per mission. I don't have to explain how great that is, right? Um, imagine just the last uh, room that we had, and he's taking over four enemies at the same time, basically doing whatever he wants with them. Uh, so... I told you, this guy is, is absolutely crazy in the end game. It, it's just enormous. He has sustain, uh, sustain, he has defense, he has nice offense, he has crowd control. He's, he's game changing abilities. Super good character. All right, um, having a cheer up here and his. Uh, ultimate is a cheer up spends all stored charges and cr increases the primary weapon damage of allies while placing a holo target effect on all enemies. The duration of the effect increases with the charges spent once per mission. Um, pretty much a support ability. Um, when, when I saw it the first time I was um, probably less inspired than uh, when I used it because uh, the the primary weapon damage increase is actually quite significant. So if he was to, uh, let's say, pull, pull this off after charging his shield with a huge phalanx and just pulls it off right away, then you have a pretty easy encounter. So it's actually a really good ability. Supercharge. And for our agents here... Um, Claymore got uh, the powerful charge. Uh, Claymore detonates a powerful charge, rupturing all enemies near the breach point. Usable on wall breach points, only once per mission. And that's fine. Like with him, we can simply enter. We don't need the wall breach anymore. Uh, he can offer us uh, that. Uh, with um, Torque, we got a Really great ability. I like the toxic greeting. Essentially what she does is uh, during the breach phase she spits uh, her toxic um, her toxic vapors into the face of someone dealing three points of damage and then on the turn of the enemy they will take additional two points for being poisoned. So it's a safe five points of damage and uh, reduction of their hit. So it's pretty damn good. I like it. But her further abilities will be even better than that. Let's shortly talk about loadouts. Uh, we are looking at Endless uh, Bravery. Endless Bravery gains the, uh, grants the Fanfire ability. And that is three shots. <laughs> Probably only one's permission, to be honest. Um, but that's a nice alternative if you need a lot of damage and you need it fast. I think the quick draw is still better, but I am willing to debate that. I'm not aware that anyone else is using weapons, so might as well give them to our two pistol uh, carriers. And now that Everyone here has uh, leveled.
we might want to equip our lower level team because now it's up to team number two to carry the torch completely. We definitely need nanomed kits and yep, drink rounds are good. We got Axiom here with his shotgun. On a med kit. And you know, I think for him a plasma grenade will do quite well. And an automat kit plus a flashbang grenade will do quite well. Um, Shelter is definitely using uh, the surely uh, constant more often than uh, Torque, because Torque with her bind ability has just such a strong kit per default. Uh, by default, it's it's going to carry a long way. Okay, um, I think we have all of uh, them in uh, use. Okay, perfect. So it's either 50 Intel or even more Alarium. I think we're actually okay on the Alarium. I might have overdone it a bit. So let's get more Intel. Scavenger market is open and we got a free purchase. Hair trigger. When firing agent has a 10% shot uh, that it will not cost an action. Hmm. Reflex grip. Standard shots uh, do not automatically end the turn. That's um, a pretty decent um, upgrade. And targeting systems. Shots apply whole targeting to the target, which grants allies a 15 aim bonus. That's not bad either. I like the reflex grip, but to be honest, None of them immediately strike me as uh, must-buy. Uh, if we look at our current team, I could see where we could use the reflex grip. Mm, yeah, I could definitely see where we could use the reflex grip. So maybe we're going with that because we do not necessarily have a team that uh, has always two actions per round. That was an advantage of our old team. Uh, sometimes um, shooting... Um, an additional time is actually a good idea. Good. We improved our we improved our assembly here. And by beginning to assign another agent, we can even further improve it. Yeah, I don't want to erase the legwork mission yet, so I guess I guess Verge will still join them for now. Which means... Unless... Wait a second. No, we have actual missions. Okay. Um, so if uh, he joins them, uh, then naturally Shelter needs to get rid of his loadout for now. Once this covert ops is done, we should be fine. By the way, we can keep his armor at least. Okay. So it's kind of the time for the handover from one team to uh, to the other. Our experience team, soon that the training center will open, will 
be fully trained and or will start to be fully trained and we are going to run a lot of spec ops whilst our new team is starting to level more and more um that is probably the end of today's episode let's take a look at our missions real quick so we got a mission last sent here for 115 credits i don't see uh, the appeal of uh, that in itself this here is a bit of a problem so if we were to reduce it uh, not sure maybe it uh, would add um, even even more unrest so probably probably going to end up with unrest over here yeah the stacks will probably be unruly for a bit But we do have uh, Vigilance, so we can reduce it. Yeah, so I would probably say we're doing solid copy estimation. 55 Intel, um, 40 credits. And just let's see what would change if we were to upgrade the finance. Yeah, we would even further decrease uh, the unrest. I think that's not bad, specifically since we're getting even more income. So we're at 25 income. So let's upgrade this here. And we got another rank 3. That's cool. One, two, three, four. Rank 3. Half of the city almost is uh, maxed out, which is great. I love it. Okay, now finally, this brings us to the end of uh, today's mission. Thank you for watching. I appreciate uh, your viewership. Uh, leave a comment and a like down below if you feel like it, and see you in the next run. Bye bye.